हेलो नाम राहुल जान ना कहीं ना अरे नहीं दोनों क्या होता हेलो 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 गुड मॉर्निंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन हेलो 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 गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड नेट नहीं आज तो प्रॉब्लम है हाँ डायरेक्ट घेन टाको मैं जाऊ जाए नहीं रहा तरी चलते अपन अस बोल सक नहीं रहा तरी चलते जाऊ जा चला Fourth day of the FDP, I warmly welcome today's chairman of the program, Dr. R. K. Dangesar, on behalf 
IQSD, NH College, and SSJ College, I welcome today's chief guest, Dr. D.H. Ghane, sir, Principal, NH College, Brahmopuri, as well as I welcome Dr. Mohurlitar, Principal, SSJ College, Armory R. <coughs> I warmly welcome convener of the FDP, Dr. Bhaskar Lenguri, sir. IQSC department coordinator, Kishore, Dr. Kishore Nakhtode, sir. Dr. CB, sir, and all the participants. Today, we have Dhammapal Fuljali, sir. He is teaching in Dr. Bhavasa Bambedkar College, Brahmapuri. He has 15 years experience as well as he is a good speaker. He has contributed in many social activities. He has presented, delivered lecture in many national and international conferences and seminars. He is a present IQC coordinator. He has uh, participated in uh, social activities, basically in a rural area. Today, he is going to deliver a topic on uh, how to become an effective reader, techniques and strategy. I warmly welcome Dr. Dhimopal Pujali, sir, to deliver his talk. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. The fourth day of faculty development program the chairperson of this today's function, respected Dr. D. H. Kahane, sir, the principal of NH College Brahmapuri. Dr. I. S. Mohurli, sir, the principal of SSJ College Arjuni. The convener of the FDP, Dr. B. L. L. The IPC coordinator. Dr. Kishor Nakhtode, and the IQC coordinator of SSJ College, Dr. KJ Sibin, and all my dear professors. Today, I'm talking about how to become an effective reader, techniques and strategies. When Dr. Lengure sir phoned me and asked about the topic, I have given the topic at that time, marginality and subordinity in society, rethinking India from the perspective of the world. But the sir says that it is on NAP and it is on technical aspect. So kindly revise your topic and somehow I tried to prepare my presentation on the skill called reading skill. Reading, writing, speaking, and listening are the four basic skills of the language. Okay. So these are the four basic skills of the language. Moreover, when I talk about the presentation of the presentation on that basic skills, I have seen that number of presentations, numerous presentations are available on speaking skills, listening skills, and writing skills. There are numerous presentations on communication skills, interview skills, presentation skills, body language, listening skills, how listening, 
uh, passive listening, active listening, how the uh, difference between the uh, listening and hearing, and so many. But there is a scarcity of presentation on reading skill. So I I tried my level best on this, uh, the topic, how to become an effective reader, technique and strategy, that is reading skill. Now, what is reading? Before talking about what is reading, let's talk about uh, the writer, the philosopher who talks about reading. Francis Bacon, one of the greatest philosophers of 16th century in English literature, he was a philosopher, essayist, scientist, politician, statesman, who said, reading makes a full man. Reading makes a full man. Confluence makes a ready man. And writing makes an exact man. So what does this full man mean? Francis Bacon says that full man means to get a knowledge, to achieve a knowledge on various aspects on every walk of the life. That is full man. So mind is filled with the knowledge pertaining to various topic that is full man. Another philosopher, Ralph Waldo Emerson, is a 19th century poet, philosopher. He talks about the philosophy of transcendentalism in American literature. And he said, transcendentalism is one of the philosophy which knowledge can be obtained through intuition apart from the outer experiences. He's, he propounded the doctrine of, uh, doctrine that is trust thyself. Trust thyself means believe in yourself. And he said, what he said? He said, critical reading is as important as Critical writing. As we all familiar about the reading and the reader, the great reader of the 20th century, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who says that you would survive, you would succeed if you read. Vasal sar vasal. This is the half quoted dictum we find in the Marathi. Vasal sar vasal. And Further, he said that everybody in every house says there must have cupboards of books. That's a ghari nahi, pustaka sa kapad, that's a garoi, puli sa pad. It's also one of the upcoated dictum we find in Marathi literature. And another poet, playwright, and the politician of the 18th century literature, Joseph Edison, who says that reading is to the mind, what exercise is to the body. So that's, it means that when we are doing exercise, we are keeping our body healthy in the same manner if we read, our mind will be healthy. Now, So reading and comprehension, these are two important words. If there is no comprehension, reading is a futile. To read means was. To read means to look at and understand the meaning of written or printed words or symbols. One can do it either silently or loudly, but the purpose is to understand what one goes through. Reading as means understanding. Reading is of no use if there is no comprehension. Check your reading speed. The speed of reading varies according to the kind of matter. The speed of reading varies according to the kind of matter one is reading. What kind of matter you are going to read? Whether it means 
there are um, this use of the employment of language in various discourses are different in the discourse of law the language is different it's very difficult to understand in the di discourse of literature the language is different and in the common parlance in the common discourses we are using different language so the speed of reading varies according to the kind of matter one is reading and the purpose for which it is read variations in speed if speed is slow purpose study reading use when material is difficult or where high comprehension is required at that time at that good time, reader, good reader needs 100 to 300 words per minute and 80 to 19 percent comprehension will be possible average reader used for everyday reading of magazine and newspaper good reader reads 350 to 500 words per minute and we find 70 percent comprehension and speed is the fast skimming skimming is one of the technique to get a general idea about the any passage so skimming use when high speed is required comprehension in, in uh, comprehension is intentionally low and 800 words reads per minute and 50% comprehension is there. We have some bad reading habits. We have some bad reading habit. Number first, wrong posture. I know it. you all are familiar with this aspect. My aim is to make, uh, it is a, as a part of revision for you that will be conducive to help you a student. I know you are well. So bad reading habits, wrong folks. Sir. If someone sits awkwardly, someone sits in an awkward position, there is a distance between the book and the eye. So this wrong posture, by someone um, lies on the bed and reading. So that is not a good habit. So wrong posture is a bad reading habit. We should keep in a proper posture. Unwanted movements. While reading, someone move his feet. While reading silently, someone his lips and someone some someone uh, some people move their heads from this side to that side that slow down the speed of the reading putting a finger on every word this is also one of the bad reading habits which someone place the thing uh, a finger or pen or pencil on a word and keep moving on or keeping on one word to another word. So this is also one of the distraction and sub vocalization. While reading silently, some words utter, uh, some people utter the word to themselves, mumble or read aloud. So these are the bad reading habits. If you want to be an effective reader, a good reader, you have to get rid of his. Uh, bad reading habits. Let me clear that this is not a story and narration that creates interest. This is purely a technical presentation. So please check, sir, bear me for, for a while. <laughs> so now coming to the techniques and strategy. So these are some of the techniques and strategies uh, for becoming an effective reader, for becoming uh, a good reader, increasing your eye span, surveying the reading matter, and identifying the text type, skimming the text, scanning the text, reading and making notes, understanding meanings of words, phrases, and sentences, understanding logical relationships between sentences and understanding the structure of the text, 
distinguishing facts from beliefs, opinions, etc., and loud reading. So these the strategies and techniques we are discussing one by one. As you read, <laughs> your eyes move from one file to another along the line you are reading. Depending upon the speed of the reader, the number of words looked at in a one glance. But a cavalry to make this of the vasta. A specimen, an example of various eye span, slow reader. This is a statement. Your reading speed depends on how many words your eyes can see at a glance. This is a single statement. Slow reader, slow reader reads single words at one glance. So there are one, two, three, four, five, means 15 eye fixations are there. 15 eye spans are there. Then average reader, your reading speed depends on how many words your eyes can see at a glance. So there are eight eye fixations. Average reader with a eight eye fixation, he looked at eight times. Then fast reader, your reading speed depends how many words your eyes can see at a glance. In a two eye fixation, uh, the fast reader reads the statement. So if you want to become a fast reader, there are various ways to improve your eye span. Get rid of bad reading habits is the one reason. Develop the habit of reading a sense group at a glance. Move your eyes fast from one sense group to another, taking into account the meaning. Means if you are very serious, if you are very uh, miss bottom to the heart, and if you read the text and you can visualize the same text on the wall also, if you are serious. Then second uh, strategy, surveying the reading matter and identifying the text type. Miss, any text you have taken for reading, first of all, you have to survey the reading matter and identify the text type. First text, what is this? Second text. Text B, what is this? Third text, what is this? Observation, text A is a poem, text B is a notice, and text E as an advertisement. So survey the matter and identify the text type, whether it is a novel, poem, essay, etc. cetera, blah, blah. Then skimming the text. It is one of the techniques. To skim means to go through the given passage quickly to get general idea, central idea, the central theme. That is called as skimming. For example, this is a text one. Read the text, please. Tell me the general idea, the central theme of this passage. The passage is about conflict between science and religion. Second thing, please read. Yeah. What do you think is the passage about different training methods, training about skill, training in using skills, and successful training program? Then another technique of that is scanning the text. Scanning means to get a particular 
to find out the particular information in the passage. Locate a specific detail in the passage. That is called scanning. And we are moving fast and we are do not think about the other things. Just we are seeking the particular information from the passage. And we all are very familiar when we were in 10th or 12th standard at that time, there were uh, there were passages, unseen passages in your examination. Just we are looking for answer. This sentence, this at that time we are not much familiar with the English. We do not have that much uh, command over the language. Just we are seeking uh, two words. Problem is there. Problem is there. This is the answer. Just and thanks to passage we passed. I think so. Read out this passage. Ha. So we are seeking from this passage the particular information, specific details. Suppose that you want to read this text in order to get the following information, the number of islands in the Andaman group, the capital of Andaman island, the substance, the island are made up of, the continuing problems on the island, and the item that island exposed. In each case, you will search for that specific bit of information. For example, to find out the continuing problem on the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, your eyes will move quickly from one line to another, not bothering much about the other information you come across. The quick movement of your eyes, which are engaged in scanning, will come to a Stand still when they are fixed on adequate water supply is a continuing problem because this line contains the word problem, which function as a clue for the piece of information you are searching for, you are seeking for. Reading and making notes. This is also one of the good strategy. Reading becomes fruitful if it is accompanied by note making. Particularly when you are engaged in a serious reading or when you are needed to prepare yourself for examination. Numbers of times, uh, some of my friends who are pursuing their PhD, just they are reading primary sources and not making the note. After single reading also and after second reading also, he hasn't made a single note. So it creates a problem for the further development of the argument. So please, while reading, you may know. Understanding the meaning of words, phrases, and sentences, this is very important because reading is reading and the vocabulary are complementary to each other. The speed of reading is hindered if while reading one come across the items one does not know. If you are reading and you, you don't know the meaning of few words, we are not comprehending that passage. This results in slow plead and low comprehension. The more words and phrases one knows, the more the number of sentences understand. Then another strategy that is the understanding logical relationship between the sentences. Usually a sentence does not does not mean much in isolation. If a single sentence is there, it has not meaning. What does the sentence, she has been saving money these days, mean? What does the action of saving money mean? It can mean a number of things. Look at the sentence. She has been saving money these days. This sentence has a number of meanings. Because we don't know what happened before and what comes after. So that it has a number of meanings. She does not do any shopping this day. That's why she has been saving money this day. She does not lend money to others this day. That's why. She has been investing money this day. She is reluctant to spend money this day. She seems to have become miserly this day. Everything is confused. I mean, money is not enough. 
So these list of meanings can go further and further. Well, why has she been saying many things today? The reason could be failure. She wants to go abroad. She wants to buy a new car, a big flat, etc. She has realized the importance of saving money. Her sister is, is to get married. She wants to do so to redo her income tax. There could be other reasons too. Observation. The meaning of the sentence depends on what has gone before it and what comes after it. In other words, the meaning of a sentence is related to what occurs before and after it. Therefore, understanding sentences in relation to other sentences in the context is necessary because words change meanings according to their context. Now, understanding the structure of the text. How we are going to understand the structure of the text? A structure is something which is made up of several parts, which are put together in a particular way. Words have no mind to form sentences. Sentences are put together to form the text. Stretch of language, a thinking unit of language has a structure. She tried that. She tried hard and stood first in the class. This sentence is made up of two sentences. She tried hard and she stood first in the class. Observation. These sentences are put together by end. These two sentence, sentences are put together, joined together by end. End is a linker. End is a linker. In doing so, the she in the second sentence has been omitted. Second sentence madla she omitted kela hota. And is ka a loop between the two sentences. This can be done in a various ways. For example, she tried half. Therefore, she stood first in the class. She stood first in the class because she tried hard. Since she tried hard, she stood first in the class. The italicized these are the italicized green color units. Yeah. Yeah, side left. All right. Some are going to be back. Of the text, there are linkers that link the two sentences. Look at the last sentence. Sachin hit two sixes in the last row. Look at the two sixes and they are linked with each other. Okay. Now, next. Okay, no problem. So, this one is the last slide. Okay. So, this thing we see facts from the belief and opinion. Factual statements are very, very important while. Uh, doing the research. In your conclusion, uh, whenever we write the conclusion for the research, we are producing factual information more because it has a due weightage. So see, distinguishing facts from belief and opinion. India is a democratic country, is a factual statement, no doubt. In a given context, there can be number of views expressed about this statement. The next sentence may be, but the poor illiterate of this country are hardly benefited by its democratic rule. It is, well, this can be one of the various opinions. This is opinion. First sentence is the fact and second one is an opinion. Shakespeare is a professor of English is a fact. I believe he is a serious scholar. My belief. This is belief. And he is a studious, someone says, that is opinion. So, distinguishing facts from belief is very important while reading the material. Which are the factual statements, which are the opinions, which are the belief, and which are the comments. In conclusion, in nutshell, the meaning of the sentence is 
if you want to be effective reader, you will have to get rid of activity lab and think about the government strategy and the use. Fast readers are good readers. They are fast because they have learned to understand and they understand quickly because they give themselves constant practice in understanding. So practice is the only solution to become a fast reader. Uh, I really uh, thankful to organizer, especially Dr. Lenguri sir, who phoned me and uh, gave an opportunity to deliver a talk on reading skill. I really very much thankful to NH College and IQC team uh, for inviting me. I also extend my gratitude to all of you for patiently listening to me. Thank you very much. हेलो सर प्रेजेंटेड हिज टॉपिक एक्सलेंटली हैज प्रेजेंटेड स्पॉन्टीन्यूसली एंड डिटेल ऑन बी ऑफ ऑफ एन एच कॉलेज ब्रह्मपुरी I request Principal Dr. D. H. Ghani sir and Chairman of the program Dr. R. K. Dange sir to felicitate Dr. Puljali sir by offering bouquet, shawl, and memento. Please, sir. दबाने के लिए उधर रुक गए Thank you very much, sir. Now I would like to invite Dr. Arkit Sir to share his view on this topic. Dhanyawad, sir. NH College, Brahmapuri, who SSJ College, Arjuni Mohor, yancha sanyukt vidyamane apla mahavidyala madhe. फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम हा पांच डिसेंबर टू बारह डिसेंबर आयोजित कर आज चौथ दिवस है चौथा दिवसा निमित्ता ने अपने जे किनोट स्पीकर उपलब्ध डॉक्टर धम्मपाल फुलजेले सर आईक्यूएसी कोऑर्डिनेटर डॉक्टर बाबा साहब आंबेडकर महाविद्यालय ब्रह्मपुरी हाउ टू बिकेम एन इफेक्टिव रीडर टेक्निक्स एंड प्रेचेजेस वाचनाच तंत्र व व्यूहरचना या विषयावर त्यांनी आता एक आपल्या फॅकल्टी डेव्हलपमेंट प्रोग्रामच्या अनुषंगानं चौथ पुष्प गुंपलेला आहे आणि त्यामुळे त्यांच्या या वाचन तंत्र व व्यूहरचना या विषयाच्या अनुषंगाने खर तर आपण सगळे प्रोफेसर्स आहोत आणि त्यामुळे प्रत्येकालाच कमी जास्त वाचना वाचन हे करावं लागतं प्रत्येकालाच वाचनाची आवड असते कुणाला जास्त असते कुणाला कमी असते आमच्याकडे डॉक्टर युवराज सर आहेत त्यांना 
वाचनाची आवड इतकी आहे की त्यांना त्यांचं पहिलं पाऊल हे लायब्ररीचं असतं आणि शेवटचं पाऊल हे लायब्ररीचं असतं आणि असे हा जो छंद आहे आपल्या प्रोफेशनला पॅरल असल्यामुळे प्रत्येकाला वाचनाची आवड कमी जास्त प्रमाणात असतेच परंतु वाचन कसं करावं कुठे करावं कधी करावं त्याचं पोश्चर काय असतं टेक्चर काय असतं म्हणजेच एखादं घर बांधत असताना आपण घराची रचना कशी असावी याबद्दलच बारीक सारीक विचार करून जेव्हा आपण इंजिनिअर कडून प्री प्लॅनिंग करतोय आणि घर बांधकाम करतोय त्यावेळेस त्याचं जे आउटपुट असतं हे आउटपुट हे अतिशय चांगलं निघतं त्याचप्रमाणे डॉक्टर फुलजेले सरांनी सांगितलेलं आहे की बाप्पा आपल्याला वाचन कसं करायला पाहिजे किती स्पीडने करायला पाहिजे कारण त्यांनी स्पीड सुद्धा सांगितलेली आहे की प्रत्येकाची वाचनाची आवडही असते आणि प्रत्येकाला वाचनही करावं लागतं त्या अनुषंगानं परंतु आपण वाचन करत असताना आपण त्याचं समजून किती घेतोय तो वाचन करत असताना आपली मानसिक स्थिती काय असते कारण प्रत्येक गोष्ट हे समजण्यासाठी आपलं ऍटिट्यूड आपली स्थिती त्यावेळेसची आपली कंडिशन ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी त्या ठिकाणी अवलंबून असतात आणि त्यामुळे वाचन हे करत असताना ते किती लक्षात ठेवावं आपल्याला ते किती लक्षात राहील हे डिपेंड्स अपॉन दिस सिच्युएशन वर अवलंबून असतं म्हणजे तुम्ही वाचताय कधी कधी काय होतं आपण एखादं पुस्तक घेतोय आवडीनं आणि ते वाचायला लागतोय परंतु कधी कधी ते आपण वाचन करत असताना आपल्याला त्याचं मन लागत नाही परंतु कधी कधी इतकं मन लागतंय की आपण ते पुस्तक कधी संपवावं असं आपल्याला होऊ जातंय म्हणजे अशा स्वरूपाची परिस्थिती ही निर्माण होत आहे आणि सरांनी म्हणूनच सांगितलं आहे फुलजेले सरांनी की आपण वाचन कसं करावं चांगलं रीडर चांगलं वाचन तंत्र आणि व्यवरचना कशी आणता येईल या दृष्टीनं त्यांनी फास्ट लर्नर स्लो लर्नर आणि मीडियम लर्नर याबद्दलची माहिती सुद्धा सांगितली त्यानंतर त्या उपायामध्ये सुद्धा त्यांनी अनेक उपाय सांगितलेले आहेत त्यामध्ये इन्क्रिजिंग टी आय स्पॅन म्हणजे आपलं डोळ्याचं अंतर आणि पुस्तकाचं अंतर किती असायला पाहिजे समिंग दी रिडिंग आयडेंटिटी मॅटर म्हणजे तिथलं जे आपण जे पुस्तक वाचत आहोत किंवा एखादा आपण बुक्स वाचत आहोत तर त्याच्यामधलं मॅटर हे आयडेंटिटी कसं करायला पाहिजे याबद्दलची सुद्धा माहिती त्यांनी इथे सांगितलेले आहे त्यानंतर स्किनिंग दे टेस्ट म्हणजे आपण जे मॅटर वाचत आहोत त्याच्यामधलं काय गोष्टी आपल्याला घ्यायला पाहिजे त्याचे पर्टिक्युलर ऍस्पेक्ट काय आहे त्याच्यामध्ये इन्फॉर्मेशन काय दिलेले आहे त्याच्यामधलं ऑब्झर्वेशन काय काय आपल्याला निरीक्षण काय करावं पाहिजे त्याच्यामधल्या नोंदी काय करायला पाहिजे या सगळ्या दृष्टीनं आपण त्या वाचन करत असताना ह्या गोष्टी आपल्याला करायला पाहिजे चिंतन करायला पाहिजे आणि या दृष्टीनं त्यांनी सांगितलेलं आहे की रिडिंग दी मेकिंग नोट्स जे आपण वाचत आहोत त्याच्यामधनं आपल्याला सुद्धा नोट्स घेणं गरजेचं असतं आपण परीक्षार्थी असताना त्याच्यामधले पुस्तक वाचतो जेव्हा आपण नोट्स वाचतोय त्यामधनं आपल्याला पेपरमध्ये काय लिहायचं याबद्दल आपण जसे नोट्स काढतोय तसं एखादं अदरदॅन पुस्तक किंवा आपला सब्जेक्ट मॅटर सुद्धा वाचताना आपल्याला त्याच्यातले जर आपण नोट्स काढले नाहीत तर आपल्याला त्या पुस्तकामध्ये नेमकं काय दिलेलं आहे याबद्दलची माहिती आपल्याला आपण उपलब्ध होऊ शकत नाही त्यानंतर अंडरस्टँडिंग दे मिनी वर्ड्स फ्रेजेस अँड स्टेटमेंट सेंटेन्सेस मधले तर त्याच्यामधल्या ज्या काही पर्टिक्युलर वर्ड्स आहेत महत्वाचे ते सुद्धा त्याच्यामधन बाहेर काढावे तर त्याचं मिनिंग काय आहे बा याबद्दल चिंतन करता येते त्याच्यामध्ये असलेल्या फ्रेजेस काय आहेत बा त्याचा काय उपयोग होऊ शकतो किंवा त्या फ्रेजेस मध्ये काय त्याचं अर्थ अभिप्रेत आहे या दृष्टीनं सुद्धा आपण त्याचं वाचन करायला पाहिजे त्यानंतर त्याचे लॉजिक रिलेशनशिप काय आहेत एखाद्या पॅऱ्यामध्ये त्यांनी काय सांगितलेलं आहे काय अपेक्षित आहे काय लॉजिकल त्याच्यामधलं त्याचं व्ह्यू आहे या दृष्टीनं सुद्धा आपण वाचन करताना विचार करायला पाहिजे त्यानंतर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस टेस सुद्धा बद्दल माहिती सांगितली त्यानंतर डिस्टिंग बिलिप्स अँड ओपिनियन्स म्हणजे लेखकाचे त्याच्यामध्ये काय ओपिनियन्स आहेत बा त्यांचं काय मत तिथे प्रदर्शित केलेलं आहे कारण लिखाण लिहितो एखादा चांगला लेखक जो असतो ते लिहित असताना त्यामधल्या त्याच्या काही अभिप्रेत अपेक्षा असतात त्या अपेक्षा काय असाव्यात मी कालच आकाश सरांचा आणि बालाजी दमकोंडवार सरांचा लेख वाचला त्याच्यामध्ये त्या लेखाच्या अनुषंगानं मला बरंच काही त्याच्यामधलं ओपिनियन पाहत आलं तर अशा स्वरूपाचे लेख अशा स्वरूपाचे पुस्तक ज्यामधनं त्या रायटरच अभिप्रेत असलेलं जे ओपिनियन आहे त्यांचे जे बिलिप्स आहेत हे सुद्धा तो त्या माध्यमातनं कळवत असतो आणि म्हणूनच ते ओपिनियन ते बिलिप्स आपल्या आपल्याला कुठल्या लॉजिकली घ्यायचे आहेत हे सुद्धा वाचन करताना फार महत्वाचं असतं आणि त्यातल्या त्यात गुड रीडर होण्यासाठी आपल्याला काय करावं लागेल फास्ट रिडिंग तर करणं आहेच पण फास्ट रिडिंग करत असताना आपल्याला त्या 
मधन जो अभिप्रेत अर्थ है तैमले मीनिंग्स है ये सुधा सुटाला नको तला आदर्श है तो सुटला सुटाला नको तुम्हारा फास्ट रीडिंग करता तुम्हें प्रैक्टिस तुम्हारा सराव हा तका महत्वाचार है हलूह आज युगा मधे अपन ज्यादा इरा मधे जगत है तो है आपका ज्यादा कंप्यूटर युग मन तो संगणक युगा मधे वाचन तंत्र करते हैं स्किल अपने डेवलपमेंट सग डेवलपमेंट वाचना चे तंत्र है कि वाचन जे है हलूह अपने कमी होता दिस्त है अन्षंगाने आज फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम जैसे जे कन्वेनियर है डॉक्टर लेनगुरे सर तनर को कन्वेनियर नागतोड़े सर है त्यानंतर महाविद्यालयाचे प्राचार्य डॉक्टर डी एच घाने सर यांनी अकॅडमिटरी डेव्हलपमेंट प्रोग्राम साठी अशा स्वरूपाच जे आपल्याकडे उपक्रम लावलेला आहे आणि त्याच्यासाठी सहाय्य लाभलेला आहे एस एस जी कॉलेज अर्जुनी मोर यांचे प्राचार्य आय एस मोरले सर त्यानंतर त्याचे कोऑर्डिनेटर आय पी सी कोऑर्डिनेटर हे डॉक्टर सी बी सर या सगळ्यांनी या कार्यासाठी मोलाचं योगदान दिलं त्यामुळे मी सर्वांच इथे अभिनंदन करतो आणि सगळ्यांचा धन्यवाद देतोय आणि आयोजकांनी मला ही जी संधी दिली आजच्या स्क्रीन स्पीकर आजच्या तासिकेची तर याबद्दल संयोजक या भार मानून मी माझं अध्यक्ष इथे दोन शब्द बंद करतोय थँक यू व्हेरी मच डॉक्टर आर के डांगे सर फॉर शेअरिंग हिज व्ह्यूज ऑन दिस ऑकेजन now i would like to invite uh, professor abhay pawar sir to present vote of thanks devda bhai karni college brahmapuri आयोजित फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम या कार्यक्रम उपस्थित दोनों महाविद्यालय प्राचार्य कन्वेनर आईक्यूसी कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफलाइन ऑन ऑनलाइन मोड मध्य उपस्थित सर्व प्राध्यापक वर्ग आज एफ डी पी चौथा दिवस स्पीकर होते डॉक्टर धम्मपाल फुलजले सर आणि त्यांचा विषय होता हाऊ टू बिकम अँड इफेक्टिव्ह रिडर टेक्निक्स अँड स्ट्रॅटेजी सरांनी या विषयावरती अतिशय मौलिक असे मार्गदर्शन केले आहे त्याबद्दल मी सरांचे आभार या महा दोन्ही महाविद्यालयाचे प्राचार्य या कार्यक्रमासाठी उपस्थिती दर्शवली त्याबद्दल मी त्यांचे सुद्धा आभार मानतो दोन्ही महाविद्यालयातील कन्व्हेनर आय क्यू सी कॉर्डिनेटर आणि प्राध्यापक वर्ग यांनी सुद्धा या कार्यक्रमामध्ये सहभाग नोंदिला त्याबद्दल मी त्यांचे सुद्धा आभार या ठिकाणी व्यक्त करतो आणि शेवटी अध्यक्ष भाषण म्हणून आजच्या कार्यक्रमाचे अध्यक्ष म्हणून ज्यांनी भाषण केले ते करणारे डॉक्टर पठाळे सर यांचे सुद्धा मी आभार या ठिकाणी व्यक्त करतो आणि हा कार्यक्रम या ठिकाणी संपला असं जाहीर करतो धन्यवाद